So uh, she's got to find her practice partners there, whereas there's a group in Austin, go, Texas, ladies. playing a Game lot of ball. So zero, let's zero, let's play pickleball, Cam. Let's get to it. Best three of five games played to 11 points. Point. Andrea Coop with the first strike on the two-hand backhand. Yeah, so no matter which, uh, whether it's Bright or Coop on the left side, they're going to be very comfortable One, dinking zero, cross court to Callie Smith and try and reach in. And that's a great start for those two with that strategy. score points on your serve and right now Anna Bright and Andrea Coop are up 2-0. Yeah, so far Andrea Coop's gotten one point for each hand that's on that backhand. Uh, really nice start two, for two, her. Two. Anna Bright, fantastic tennis player from Cal. Point. Now residing in Florida. She is famous for coming out to the professional pickleball scene Three, and zero, claiming zero. her title before her very first tournament played, and she got it done. She guaranteed the win. Yeah, very confident. Yeah. That's a really good start with the ball for the three seed. They'll get three right off the bat. You know, you have, all of us have the jitters before a, a gold medal match, even these top players, so it's nice to get three. Championship Sunday looks a little different here in Newport, Newport Beach as this is the double shootout. One, three, so no one. singles on this championship Sunday. Come on. A lot of one hand backhands right now. That's been a development in the women's side of the game as it's highly one, utilized three, on the men's side. Yeah, it gives you a little more reach and you can roll that wrist and, and pop it down so it's a very compact stroke. Yeah. And some versatility, maybe you call it flexibility on the side of Coop and Bright as they are switching sides. Yeah, so in pickleball, you play your score. So the, the side that you started on, if you're in an even score, you will stay on that side. These two are plenty comfortable staying with that mentality. And sometimes if you don't hit a clean camp, it's even better there, as Lucy's like, what the heck was that, man? Point to point, Dave. Absolutely. Point to point. <laughs> That's why they sold you the whole paddle. <laughs> Lucy Kovalova had to find her wheels right there. Callie Jo Smith, you can see her working Four, two, back one. onto the court. She's looking for the Ernie and will oftentimes find it. The touch of Callie Jo Smith. Yeah, for someone that has just absolute terror of big heat coming off that forehand, nice to see her just Four, drop two, it two. in there too. Really well done. Great shot selection from Callie Jo Smith. difference for the tennis fans watching is tennis is usually a one strike winner here it's two three or four there's a two big four, mantra one. and pickleball the ball's always coming back great job by Callie Smith being ready for the Thank next you, ball there Cameron pickleball's all about patterns and combinations as these athletes train specifically to put themselves in alignment two to four, pick two. up those combinations usually at the hand of a speed up Just 
out of bounds. I think if you were to ask Lucy and Callie what their secret weapon is, they would actually say it's their chemistry, yes. their love for one another. And we saw that come to fruition in St. George, Utah. They took a tough loss and immediately the emotion showed. Yes, yeah, there were tears. And uh, that shows you how badly these ladies want to win. And win for each other, more importantly. 100%, that's, you know, there's no singles here. So this is, you're gonna have a teammate. You wanna put yourself Four, three, one. in the best position to be a great partner. And these two do that better than anybody. Net love in Newport Beach, they would say thank you, Net. And a little sorry, not sorry from Andrea Coop there. There's a good look at uh, Anna Bright. Five, three, one. Point. Right shoulder is a tough spot to have to protect. Yeah, and a big part of pickleball is letting balls go. You're you're trying to get your hands so ready that sometimes you just can't help yourself. Callie certainly played an out ball there and now pushes that one deep. And this is a great start in game one for Coop and Bright. Anna Bright rocking her James Ignatowich hat. Yes. Her hometown of Boca Raton, Florida. Went to West Boca Raton High School. Yeah, what's up with these guys sneaking into the women's final? Matt Wright's in the warm-up, and James Ignatowicz <laughs> is on her hat. Come on, man. 7-3-2. Lucy Kovalova, that two-handed backhand is destructive. Yeah, that's the no-go zone right there. She's just sitting on it. So really nice by Lucy Kovalova right there. So then we're going to take a break here on championship court as the ball is sided out by Kovalova and Smith. They look to respond here in game number one. Team A team, Andrea Koop and Anna Bright out to a firing start. The number three seed here in the Women's Doubles Championship versus number one, the OGO Newport Beach Doubles Shootout presented by Vizzy. A look at Andrea Koop. This team had a solid run to get to this championship, taking down Gretschkina and Stratman, 11-9, 11-6. In the semifinal. Second serve. From the top tier, Anna Bright with the overhead. Yeah, you can see the tennis ladies are very comfortable hitting that ball up over their head. The difference in pickleball is you want to find an angle. You can't bounce it into the 15th row like you can with a tennis ball. So a hold, Anna Bright. Andrea Coop, no damage done. They maintain the advantage, 7-3. Just a millisecond late on going after that next ball. Bright got herself in perfect position. And a Bright just about three feet from the kitchen line. She's yeah, so if she was a little closer up, that ball is definitely going to be made. Three, seven, Caught the one. tape. Different styles of pickleball between so many of our pros in terms of their court positioning. Oh, oh. And a foot fault, Close but it was pretty. <laughs> so let's watch. You cannot hit the ball and have a foot contact the kitchen line. That's coaching if you're asking him for his opinion. Okay, the Kovalim and Smith are challenging the football. Okay. 
You can't challenge a lot of different things, Cameron, and you can most definitely challenge whether the kitchen is flat, so you're not allowed, and she couldn't be more in the kitchen there. The line counts as being in, so they're going to lose this challenge. So it's not just on the takeoff, it's also on your landing, so if your foot is on the line, it is considered a violation, so any part of that line. So Callie, Joe Smith, and Lucy again challenging whether this was in fact a foot fault and a kitchen violation. And uh, every player does that. You sort of rotate your foot a little bit after the call and you look down, you're like, hey, I'm in the green. Well, uh, when Callie sees this back, she'll see how clearly on the line she was there. So the other thing you see on screen here is we have partners off the court. That's uh, Kyle in the white hat, uh, Callie's husband. And we saw Matt Wright taking the warm up with the ladies. Uh, he's got his men's doubles final later today with Riley Newman. So we're seeing more and more of this too as pickleball rises in popularity at the recreational level and at the pro level. You're getting coaching, physios, and all of that. You know, you hear the tennis, top tennis players talk about a team. It's truly a team at the highest level here in pickleball. Result of the video challenge, the call stands. The team of Kovalev and Smith will be charged one timeout. We'll resume play at 372. Give it up for video challenge, folks. Come on. So the challenge, and excuse me, the call will stand, so there is a foot fault on Callie Joe Smith. So it will be second serve now for Lucy Kovalova. Time in. 372. Kovalova originally out of Slovakia. She came to the U.S. and played tennis at Wichita State. One of the top mixed players in the Four, world, seven, as well as women doubles players. Where can Lucy and Callie maybe look to be the aggressor here, even though they're the returning team? Yeah, here you, you want to get that ball back, so hit a good deep return and take advantage of the kitchen with a great, Second serve. great volley there on the fourth. So that's that's what you that's picture perfect. Good deep return, make that third shot drop or drive, which is so critical in the game of pickleball, more difficult for your opponent. Smith inside out forehand would have been right on the edge of the line over there. So perfect job when you're down to get that ball back because in pickleball you can only score when you have the ball, but you can keep it as long as you've got it. So a uh, big opportunity here for these two to come come back down three. Second serve. Got to make your third though. And that's the big difference obviously between pickleball and tennis. Tennis serving team has a huge Four, advantage seven, in pickleball because you have to let the return bounce. It's the return team with the advantage. doubles right there, Cam. You see these great firefights, the athleticism. It sounds like there's a fireworks show going on with the crowd ooing and aahing <laughs> over there. It's absolutely fantastic pickleball. Yeah. Right now, it feels like there's a surge coming from Smith and Kovalova. Still trailing by three, but picking up some nice shots at the kitchen. Seven for two. Keeping Bright and Coop at bay. I guess more so Harper here. Yeah. Right 
Love that local knowledge, Cam. <laughs> I may only live five minutes from here. Come on. <laughs> I might be on a Duffy boat by the end of this day. Four, seven, one. don't see at the professional level very often. Of course it happens, but Miss Dinks, Five, seven, that's one. just how dialed in these athletes are. You might see only one to two of those in an entire match. 100%. in terms of the timing, but also the location. Yes, and that shot right there from Callie you Smith put her team in trouble. She tried up and over to the inside Five, out seven, on that forehand and just left it just right in the wheelhouse of Anna Bright. And they were way ahead in that point and then gave it away. The in between. One of the toughest is just at your feet on the kitchen line. Are you going to let that hit and go off the bounce, or are you going to take that out of the air and take time away? Yeah, your stinking brain needs to make a decision, <laughs> Cam. Point. Same ball. Exact same ball. Timeout, receiving team, 7-7-2. Seven, seven, so just like that, it was 7-3. to three. Lucy Kovalova and Callie Jo Smith a fantastic streak of points here in game number one of the women's final at the OGO Newport Beach double shootout. Anna Bright looking for a third different partner to win a title with. Coop would be the third. She picked up her very first title on the Carvana PPA Tour alongside Jesse Irvin back in September of 2022. Since then, it's been three more women's doubles titles alongside Annalie Waters in just 2023 alone. So Anna Bright looking to find yet another partnership working in her favor. Out of jail right there. Uh, Andrea Coop left the ball up, but then recovered and then started smoking seven, that two handed back in. That's really, really good after uh, not her favorite dink. Just stayed in. so interesting I think back to the semifinals last night and oftentimes it was Coop on the left I would say more often than not with Anna Bright on the right side so why eight. might facing Kovalova yes. and Smith have them be in eight, this seven, sort of one. a setup where might the advantage lie oh I just think Anna Anna, Anna Bright's two-handed backhand roll going against Callie Smith is something they're gonna really like to have Point. great defense from Andrea Coop it pays off and Coop is such a versatile player. She's absolutely comfortable on that right side as well. You've seen her speed up both the forehand and the backhand straight ahead, and it has the hands to handle that. So this is the ebbs and flows of pickleball beautifully. We had a lead, a comeback. Now the team that was ahead inches in front again. And it's much like the rallies that we see, Cameron. Offense to defense, that's why people love it. You know, the crowd's really into this, and it's a good look at uh, Lucy Kovalova. As she is chasing history, she turned pro back in 2016, looking for her 21st gold medal in women's doubles, and the eighth, like we mentioned, with Callie Jo Smith. She now 
teaches pickleball and tennis at a country club in Wichita, Kansas. She went and played tennis there, and then she just decided to stay. Here I am. <laughs> she loves it out there. The 30-year-old, actually make it 31, as her birthday was back in St. George. So a happy late birthday to Lucy Kovalova. Yeah, one of the great personalities uh, on the tour and has been here a long time as opposed to an Anna Bright who just showed up last year. So impressive for her to maintain this high level. Getting it down at the feet of Coop. Yeah, tough to speed it up off the bounce when you're four Nine, feet seven, behind two. the transition or into the transition zone away from the kitchen line there for Coop. The former Miss Tennis from Florida with a big forehand. I mean. That's why she has had so many titles. It's smoking that backhand and coming in and sitting there and being ready with the forehand. So they fend off a game point at 10 to seven. Conversation now at the baseline between Kovalova and Smith, you can t clearly see them talking about the two-hand backhand. Potentially of Coop on the other side, or maybe Anna Bright, for that matter. Yeah, don't hit it up in the air to Anna Bright, <laughs> for sure. Oh, okay, that's an easy one. Yeah, that's an easy one. <laughs> typically goes in favor of that who is most patient. However, right there, it's Andrea Coop and Anna Bright. 7-10-2. Coop on the left. Yeah, sometimes you just don't want to risk having to change sides in the middle of the point and running across, especially if there's a deep serve and they're so comfortable playing both sides. Seven, seven, Another shot to take game one right here. pretty aggressive through the middle of the court right now. Yeah, they both are plenty comfortable anything that they can get a good rip at, and they're not disguising it. Ten, and seven, two. heat is coming. You need to be ready. Terrific uh, start to our championship Sunday. Crowd is loving it. You know, it is very clear, and I talked about in the open, strike first pickleball is the way these ladies want to play, especially, especially Coop and Bright, and they're making it happen. Coop and Bright with game number one. The eighth stop on the Carvana PPA Tour is right here in Newport Beach, California. OGO Newport Beach, a double shootout presented by Vizzy. Game one of the women's doubles finals is now in the books. It goes the direction of Coop and Bright, 11 to seven. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming. How can Smith and Kovalova look to respond in game two? I think a couple things. Number one, be ready for that 
strike and counter, you know, it's it's coming from the midcourt, so off the bounce, you can see it. So be ready and then just execute a little better. I think, you know, this game, they tighten it up right in the middle and time in. stay two, two, within time yourself. In. Sometimes two, you two. try to win two games in one. Just don't try and Start do out. too much. And the rare miss serve from Lucy Kovalova, she can't believe it. The crowd's trying to just pick her up. It's okay, Lucy. Zero, zero, one. I'm just glad it's, I'm not the only one it happens to. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a strong cover because that's not even necessarily on the hip of Lucy Kovalova. That was well outstretched. Yeah, so that's the one thing that Callie and Lucy have to decide. Callie, if you're going to cover the middle with your forehand, I'm going to sit down the line so that Lucy knows anything to her left shoulder is not a ball she needs to worry about. That's discipline, though, at the kitchen line with your partner. Sounds like Kovalova and Smith may have had a conversation with the crowd between games yeah. one and two. They sound a little more energized towards their direction. We're seeing a little more of that from Callie, speeding the ball up off the backhand on the bounce. It's new, same shot. Anna Bright wasn't ready. Lucy and Callie, just 31 years of age between the two of them. Callie Joe got two little ones with husband Kyle Smith, who we've seen time and time again as her coach. Spends a lot of time on her physical fitness. You got to work out with her on Wednesdays. Find it on her social media. Workout Wednesdays. Yeah, show up ready or you will <laughs> not like your Thursday. I can tell you that much. If you want some sore muscles, find Callie Jo Smith on a Wednesday afternoon. Right now, they're up 3 0. start for Smith and Kovalova at the OGO Newport Beach shootout game two. This fantastic event presented by both OGO and Vizzy. Sponsorship such a critical part of the game of pickleball not only for the tour but also for each one of these athletes. You can see the different paddles in their hands. One of the primary sponsors Paddle Tech for Andrea Coop, Yola for Anna Bright and Onyx for both Callie and Lucy. Three, zero, two. Right out. She changed her location. Yeah, went down the middle. Good job by Koopa sitting there. It's obvious. You t we talk about two, what are three, these one. players working on in between tournaments. Callie joe has been working on offense off the bounce on the backhand. Boy. And Andrea Coop is firing away at anything she gets on the bounce that's up even a little bit. There's no holding one, back three, from her here so far today. Visions of a walk-off and, <laughs> and a highlight reel for the rest of her life uh, after they scrap back all those overheads, but a uh, little ambitious there. Dodgers are in Chicago today. Should bring a little baseball flair yeah. to Orange County.
Andrea Coop to the sideline, and she came up big. Yeah, Callie Smith uh, tried to roll one from her feet, left it up, and Coop just pounced Andrea on it. And there goes that deficit. Poof. 3-3-2. Right now they're catching Andrea Coop. Not up to overturn. Keeping her on the sideline and finding a little space created through the middle. Yeah, and that didn't end up missing by much, but she was a tad late, and that's why the ball three, three, sailed wide. They were questioning maybe a little bit, but uh, don't choose to challenge it. Ball appeared clearly wide. just itching to jump in and she found a ball three, she three, could two. get after and then lets that two-handed fly. Right now, how are they able to pin Andrea Coop to the sideline? Well, they've decided we're going to put the ball on the ground to her and she's giving ground on Four, the dink, three, so... Anna Bright is trying to sneak over in these, these rallies, but it's a smart strategy. I mean, the target right now is on Andrea Koo. Five, three, two. ball out there. Yeah, because you don't expect your arm to be in play <laughs> when <laughs> there's an overhead Three, five, being one. hit at the kitchen line. Dip, dive, dodge, duck, and dive. Second serve. So the thing you do when you isolate a player is they've hit a bunch of balls to Andrea Coop is you make the other Three, player, five, in this case Anna Bright, really be antsy about, I want to get involved in this and help my team. You have to stay patient. And that is a great take from Anna Bright right there on the read. Her anticipation is one of her absolute special skills. And she has it herself, and I think she's seen playing with Four, Anna five, Lee Waters, what she's able to do by jumping in in certain situations. So that's been a very good partnership for those two. Oh. Anna Bright just Point. so quick with the hands. Yeah, and she, she starts off a little bit back off the kitchen line, but as she gets ahead in the point, she's coming all the way up to it. And I like five, this five, rally two. from these two in here in game number two. to the candy there, Cam. It was sitting up in the air and they're smiling about it. Five, five, two. Talk to me about 
decision making on some of those speed ups. We always talk about counters, but there's also the contact, a reset. How do you pick and choose the times to utilize and neutralize the point? Uh, it, it depends on where the ball is positioned. I'll answer after this. So if you're in a defensive posture and the ball is coming down at your feet, you want to reset that. If it's in your strike zone, meaning mid-level of your body, you want to crank that back at your opponent. So, And then obviously the pace of the ball as well. Can you get on top of it? You don't want to try and take a big swing at a ball that's got too much pace than you can handle. Second serve. Coop getting stuck at the baseline. Looking for that third shot drop. Five, six, two. Do you prefer a, a backhand on the forehand side to drop or a forehand? Or does it really matter per athlete in terms of court positioning? Does that ever come into play? Yeah, for sure. I think what Six, you want to do, number one, who's got the better ball consistently and that can put the ball where we as a team want to put it and then who is the better athlete to go up and be a menace at the kitchen line you can we talk about driving and crashing but you can drop the ball and go up and be a problem too so if one of you is better at that let the other one take the third and make it whether it's forehand or backhand This is the highest level pickleball at its finest. These ladies have these firefights that just get the crowd losing their minds. Andrea Koop has been aggressive and it's been working in her favor. However, right now, Smith and Kovalova stringing more than a few points together. Eight, five. Lucy Kovalova and Callie Joe Smith look like they're playing at their Nine top eight. level. Nine by two. Four point advantage. Right out. So where could they maybe look to find some points for Coop and Bright? I know that's just on the foot. But how might the strategy change? You know, they've Andrea Coop knows she's getting targeted now, and when Anna Bright is making the right choices to come in and get involved, it's been very good. So Coop's just got to be patient, keep that ball on the ground. Right there, to your point, coming in, trying to get a contact off the Anna Bright paddle. And this is the other thing they can do, which is switch up. Andrea Coop has been on the right for most of this game, and they've been down. So let's see if this formation helps them. Alleviate some of the pressure, or at least change how it might look. So there's discipline. 
If your team decision is worth throwing everything at Andrea Coop, you have to keep doing it. So Callie Smith jumped out of that pattern right into that two-handed backhand. No fly zone of Anna Bright, and it got demolished. We remind you, the men's doubles final will be played at the conclusion of this match. Riley Newman and Matt Wright facing off against Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Yeah, it could be a big weekend here in Newport for J.W. Johnson, who uh, on our CBS broadcast yesterday took that title with his sister, and uh, you've never seen more joy than Georgia Johnson's face yesterday. semifinal and an unbelievable display of that defense right there when she was absolutely right, under two. siege and fought it off. Kovalova do what tennis players do. You, you, you put that front foot in the ground and push off, but as you rotate it, even though you're going backwards, you your nine. foot went forward into the kitchen, Side and up. that is a footfall. Marks Six, all nine, over it, our referee right there. direction yeah she is sat on that line she sees it because again they're just winding up and firing so there's no disguise on that the pace is terrific but you've got to be disciplined to what your responsibility is and Lucy certainly has been Forehand dink for Lucy, or excuse me, for Callie Joe Smith. You mentioned our officials, Mark Thomas, our lead. Michael Kunkis, our second. Yeah. Right out. Little poke there from Lucy Kovalova. Yeah, I like it. And the challenge with this formation with Andrea Coop on the left is it's really hard for Anna Bright to get the backhand in there and get the court positioning right. So she turns into more of a defensive player. So they're going to put her back on the left here when they're on odd. Second serve. Feels like we've been at a bit of a stalemate. It was mostly at that nine to six point after Coop and Bright switched sides. Nine, seven, two. One step closer to picking up a game here in the women's doubles final for Kovalova and Smith. 10-7-2. It's been interesting in terms of a rhythm for this match. Several points, kind of two to three on each side of the net at any given time. Change of pace on 
the speed up. That wasn't full force. No, it was uh, perfectly placed on the right side there as Coop was looking to smoke a two-handed backhand, but it didn't come on that side of her body. Fantastic by Callie Smith there because she knows how itchy that Anna Bright wants to get involved in this and caught her with her hand in the cookie jar in the middle, went behind her, and that's not an easy backhand overhead. Flipping that back down. of some of these attacks. Flat, down at the knees. I mean, they're millimeters over the net at full pace. Bollard back for Coop and Bright. So they've saved three game points here. This is, let's see what they're gonna do positioning wise. They're gonna stick with Anna on the left. They go back to it. shoulder of Lucy Kovalova. Yeah, I love the attack from Callie Smith. She let that ball bounce up to the height of the bounce and then went after it. Really smart choice of letting that ball get into the perfect strike zone. Second serve. Caught reaching. This is when it gets in your head. This is their fifth chance. You don't want that to linger. There's so much talent on the other side. Most nervous people are those two gentlemen watching Matt and Kyle. Right out. Wonder what the water cooler talk is. <laughs> Please finish game two. <laughs> You're killing me over here. It's so much easier to play. Matt Wright would tell you that in a heartbeat than to watch Lucy. <laughs> It's a constant merry-go-round of which side they're going to play over here. slide into the middle after her partner hit the ATP and then Kovalev had an answer for that too. That's on her highlight reel. started. So to game at three we go after a medical timeout for Andrea Coop. From what I'm told, she got a little bit of an adjustment, potentially had a rib out, so seeing a chiropractor <laughs> between games two and three. We saw her actually stretch a time or two if you don't remember. 
in terms of Rip raising up that right arm before she was serving. Yeah. I can think, I think it was back in game one. Yeah, and we appreciate our friends at Select Medical on site, ready to help these athletes play at their absolute best. So a rib injury means all that contorting and twisting that you do, especially with the speed ups. We'll see and keep an eye on her if she continues to be ginger with that. And that's gonna make Andrea, Andrea really ask her partner, Anna Bright, to do even more if she can. Zero, zero, two. the vocality of Anna Bright right now, urging her and her partner along. Zero, zero, one. Second, sir. This game has become so much more physical yes. in the last three years alone. Zero, zero, two. The toll on your body, the amount of fitness required. Side out. A lot of these athletes we've mentioned, the coaching staffs, but also now zero, trainers zero, zero, coming into the game, and they're very much needed. Yeah. Point. First point on the board for Smith and Kovalova. One, zero, one. going to just keep looking and where yeah. can I come in there and pick off a ball that's headed over to Andrea Coop. So she's going to have to keep cheating over a little more at a time. And then much like an aggressive male in mix, you're going to have to go behind her. And there's a good example of that right there. So it's a smart shot, shot selection from Callie Smith. Two, zero, two. It's a battle, folks. I mean, if the mayor says it. I mean, Zero, two, one. <laughs> he's the mayor. <laughs> Second serve. I can't tell you how difficult the ball that Lucy Kovalova hit, but she keeps that Zero, backhand two, two. cocked and ready there so that she could wait on that ball off the top of the net and still make a perfect shot. That's not easy to do. Callie Joe Smith getting tested like Keanu Reeves right now in terms of letting those pass beyond the baseline on the third shot drives. Two, zero, two. Point. Third shot drive of their own. In terms of mentality, that's tough too. When you've got the pace coming your direction, you're trying to book it to the other side, unwinding that stack. Yeah, it's interesting. They chose not to change who the first server is, which would have put Andrea on that side without a switch. Push off fault, but the lob from Lucy Kovalova, effective. Yeah, perfection. You don't get two points, though, for the footfall and the missed left-handed overhead from Coop. Just one. But again, this rampage continues. Side out. Four zero start for Smith and Kovalova. I'm serving. Zero four one. And a bright. Determining which side these two will play. And it all starts with the poke again from Lucy Kovalova. A different contact with the one hand back in. Yes, absolutely. It's quicker. And if you can just get that down, you don't have to do a lot with it. Use the pace that's coming to you. A lot of times you'll see the paddle head drop 
them try and find the top or the roll on the backhand. So that flick. Yeah, the mistake some players make is they get real wristy with that, and you don't want to do that, or you'll roll it directly. You want to sweep it up the side of the and the back side of the ball if you are trying to put some spin on it. And again, that third shot drive. And that's not even at full pace, right? In terms of pickleball, a lot of times you're managing that compact stroke from the baseline, usually about the 70% of your full force. Nice location, counter from Mana Bright. See the determination just trying to get herself and Andrea going. Play the serves on Zero, a let five, here on the PPA tour. It's got to clear the kitchen now. Just love the court positioning of Callie Smith there. She knew that Lucy had a long run from a serve deep in the corner, and she just took over the middle of the court, daring them to go behind her and five, giving zero, Lucy enough time to get up to the kitchen line. That's really well done. One of the big elements for tennis players transitioning into pickleball is deci decision making and shot Five, zero, selection. Two. That's one of the biggest areas that they are most challenged in. Anna Bright spending so much time on the court. court dink and got Anna Bright involved and guess what Anna Bright and Andrea Coop take that point so if your strategy is to hit literally isolate you got to wait for a ball where you surprise Anna Bright but uh, still have a really nice five nothing lead Just wide. back to the thought on decision making with Anna Bright spending just astronomical amounts of time on the one, court in one. the last year. She's expedited that process yes. and it has shown in her game. Yeah, you need reps and she got a ton of them. She played all the tournaments. And look at Coop. And you hear the calls. Coop through the middle. So that's the difference. Like. If you're going to be on the left side and targeted, get to the point where you can cut in there and get your forehand involved. We haven't seen her hit too many forehands on that side at all. She's going to be the left side player. Be aggressive like that. Get that forehand going. I really like what I'm seeing from her. And, you know, I can't imagine what a rib injury, the pain of what that fast hands and torquing your body requires. Just ferocious, and then sliding that paddle to the left side, pushing that just wide. 
Just remarkable defense from Callie Smith. To make them hit one more ball, you might get an error, and they did there. And crowd cheering them on. What a battle from these four ladies. right now, whether it's the paddle on the right side, the left side of your body, the dinks, I mean, the execution is just next level. It is, and when you hear repeatedly the crowd saying, wow, we can hear the, our microphones picking that up, it's, you know, this is wow pickleball for sure. Just the explosiveness too. And Andrea Coop in the middle of this. You can see it both on Callie Joe Smith and Lucy Kovalova. Just the preparation, the split steps. Every single time that ball is crossing the net. Overcooking a little bit right now. We're starting to burn our dinner. <laughs> and Anna Bright wants to play fast. In fact, uh, I don't know if a starter's gun Three just went five. off there, but she is ready to get to the line and go. Yeah. <laughs> These four are just taking cuts at the ball right now. Timeout receivers, four, five, one. Five to four for Smith and Kovalova. They had a 5-0 run, but all of a sudden, Coop and Bright, they're sneaking back in. to four, Smith and Kovalova, the number one seed here in Newport Beach, looking to find yet another title together. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming, Anna Bright, and Andrea Coop are, are the opposition for Smith and Kovalova. A 4-0 run for them in game number three. Best three of five. for Coop and Bright. And it's a resurgent Coop we're seeing here. A little more aggressive, movements five, five, better. Five. Whatever was done, maybe kick it in now. She definitely is livelier over there on that left side of the court. is just going back and forth. How can you start to slow some of that? Do you have to exert the same amount of energy in terms of their vocality coming out? I mean, what does it look like? Happily answer after this. something you're not. You know, Andrea Coop is not going to start yelling and screaming and all the fist pumping and all that. She'll get involved in that a little bit, but just find your game and stay. Both teams have a strategy. It's gone one, one, and we're tied or one point lead here now in game number three. So it's, it's now execution of that strategy. And like lightning right now for Smith and Kovalova.
two point advantage. Seven, five, one. Who will apply the pressure into game number four? So they switched Coop in the first point, or in the last point, they did in the last two. Second serve. A great Ernie from Callie Joe Smith. And the win just finding the last inch of Lucy Kovalova's paddle. Yeah, what a defense of that Ernie from Andrea Coop, my goodness. Beautiful one-two combination from Callie Smith there down the line, and then you get that player sneaking in. There is not a lot of margin on that angle that she made on the second one, but uh, kept it in nicely. Lefty from Andrea Coop. I mean, what do you mean put it over the backhand shoulder? I don't have one. So there are specific locations you look to on the lob over the left shoulder or the opposing shoulder is a good location. Unless, of course, you can go lefty. Already an hour and 35 minutes on this match. change too in terms of what these professional pickleball players face throughout the tournament it's two out of three they make it to the final you got to change the mentality best three of five Lucy Kovalova come in her direction and goes with the lob Nine instead. It's a great solution when someone goes for the Ernie just a step early, just needed to execute it. Choice was perfect. The use of those coop calls down here with wide receiver you may be familiar with there. <laughs> Joe Smith, the clean winner. On a cut. Ten by two. Wow. Side out. She could have gone for it. Instead, looks for the half volley on game point. a little bit more in the middle of the court because her combinations, especially on the backhand side right now, they're working in her favor. Six, ten, one. Not the location, obviously, that uh, Kovalova and Smith want the ball. This is a really hard match for that lady right there, Anna Bright, who's been very isolated, trying to find a place to help her partner. are flying, Cam. I mean, the bumper 
players are going. And, you know, the one thing, if you're Andrea Coop, the good news is since you're getting every ball, you expect to get it back so you can be ready. It's much harder for Anna Bright, who's not sure if she'll ever get a ball in those rallies. So I always say you're a much better player off a ball you just hit because you know what is expected to happen. And to Andrea Coop's credit, they stared down one game point, and now they've got the other side calling timeout. So I hydration, and I think this is uh, a nice conversation here. That last one, just in terms of the firefight, it's almost like they got to the bonus level, like just lights out. What are you looking for in terms of a read? Because so much is happening in that, what, four tenths of a second when the ball is coming across the net. What enables them to go time and time again? I mean, you talked about the reps and the practice, so the ability to do that, and then they are looking for specific targets in the middle of that. You saw Kovalova and Callie Smith were like, we're going no matter what, inside out or straight ahead for Kovalova and Coop in all of this. And Coop just kept reloading the two-handed backhand. And that is not easy to do when there's that much pace. And it's coming from two different sides at Coop, yet she was up to the challenge impressively. Just astonishing hands from all four of these professional pickleball players. Eight to 10 now. It was 5-10 for Coop and Bright as they trailed by five. Just their first serve. Yeah. the right call yes. on the out call as long as they the didn't touch out. it yeah so that ball's out right i see it <laughs> i agree with you 100 percent cam now for those tuning in here on tennis channel pickleball travels differently than a tennis ball it does not compress down so the shape maintains so you have to draw a line directly through the middle of that ball to figure out exactly where the contact point was in regards to the line. So Lucy and Callie are gonna decide whether they want to challenge this call or not. Mind you, this now means that it's nine to 10. Here we go, ladies. Resume play, Anna Bright will be serving nine, 10, two. I, will I know there's some score. hesitancy here, but I do believe that was the yes. correct call on the out of bounds call. It doesn't feel like it for Kovalova and Smith, but no. I agree with you. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Perception's reality. Here we go. Called the ball out. I did not see it. I was watching your feet. Okay, the call so the ball called out of point. bounds from Lucy Kovalova. Coop and Bright is challenging the out call. Watch the feet here. Result of the play Ooh, is that's 11. Tight. So Proceeding to video challenge. So another video challenge called now, this one by Anna Bright and Andrea Coop. This game continues to grow, as do 
several of the technology sides of the game, this being one of them. With the video challenge. Here's a look. What are you seeing, Dave? I'm trying to see if it's sliding off the line there just a little bit uh, at the end. That one angle looked like it was maybe just wide, and then that changed my mind a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So our officials will review this. Here's another shot. Ooh, I don't know, Dave. That one, based off the angle, will look more in yes. than the other, yes. so from the front view. Keep that in mind. Andrea Koop and Anna Bright sitting during the video challenge. I mean, Bright's so relaxed there, it's like she's waiting for the bus to show up. <laughs> I mean, the PCH is just on the other That's side of championship point. court. She's going to LA next. Decision, I think, has been made. Result of the video challenge, the call is overturned, the ball was in, we will resume play at 10 9 2. So the call has been overturned, ball in bounds. And Lucy just with a slight little head nod. All right, I think she agreed with that one. Tough to say when you're right on top of that and it's at your feet. And you're moving your head. I mean, it's just really it's, difficult to make that it call. Happens. Yep, I'm glad that. We got it right, that last angle seemed to make it more in than not, and that is indeed what our replay official decided. I'm glad we have it. I just want the call to be right, Cam, especially on freaking game point right there. <laughs> and that is just wide. And I do believe this one Callie thought was going to be in bounds, but I think that was about a good six inches out for Anna Bright. So a hold there and a shot for Coop and Bright to tie things up. Must win by two. And now the advantage. Save three match or game points down. Now they get a ball off the tape. They required a video overturn and suddenly Coop and Bright have themselves a game point. And again, to remind you, if you've just joined us, this is three out of five, so this is a match point still critical for the momentum of this match. Who will take the advantage in it to game at number four? 11 10, one. We're perfect. Just a slight yes. communication, a little late on the communication. Andrea Coop backed off that foot, thought Anna Bright might come in on the ball. She took a little shuffle towards it and Coop backed off and then got the U call and too late. Smith 
and Kovalova. It's French fries on the board. Let's get some ketchup. 11 11, one. Could be looking at our first three hour. I don't know about you, Dave. What do you think? Very possible. <laughs> Game point for Smith and Kovalova. strike first pickleball we had our most patient point on a game point and it's a flick from Callie Smith that just got annihilated from Coop and they get the ball back my goodness pumps there from the <laughs> duo in white and blue. Second serve now. Coop was on the left, but a hold for Smith and Kovalova. They earn the ball back, and they earn another shot at game point. This is their fifth. 12-11, Carvana PPA Tour. The eighth stop 
in a fantastic 2023 season. More pickleball than ever before and more pickleball than we've seen in a minute here on Championship Sunday in this women's doubles final. An absolutely perfect day for pickleball in Newport Beach. Just 12 miles an hour on the wind. That's something to pay attention to throughout the afternoon as it typically does pick up a bit more. Lucy Kovalova and Callie Jo Smith find game number three and are just one game away game from time. taking home gold. I'm Cameron Irwin Senator alongside Taylor. Dave Fleming. a tough game three for Andrea Coop and Anna Bright. They have to find game number four. Where could they find some potential holes on the opposing side? Well, I think it's that added uh, offense that Andrea Coop has brought to the table in their comeback. where she is not panicked Zero, with her paddle two. positioning, but, uh, you know, Coop with that backhand being aggressive and then finding the chance to go with the forehand, it's gotta be the answer if she's gonna be on the left. to do is throw away the fact that you did this huge rally and had two game points of your own in game number three and just that's got to be erased and go play. And again the fault at the kitchen line on the push off. So Kovalova's lobs have actually worked time and time again because of a football rather than the actual location. And again, Andrea Coop with that rotation and because she does it with a left hand, you got to rotate and push off with that right foot. Second serve. And I don't mean to take it away from Kovalova in terms of yeah. the lob. I just mean that's how quick it's getting back there. It's forcing them to have to step Two forward zero. to step back. defense in this case you just have to try and find a way up and they just couldn't quite get a ball to bounce could Kovalova and Smith great job by Coop of patrolling that kitchen line oh, oh, Second serve. tough when you're finding one side of your body and then all of a sudden it ends up on the right side switching those feet and paddle position zero two two Second serve. 
That's why I work out Wednesday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is required. I mean, the <laughs> lunging and extensions and the battle, especially in a three out of five where we're over two hours now, it's unbelievable. Andrea Coop, we've mentioned she's a Bruin. Back in her playing days, she was ranked as high as the 17th best singles player in the country. Zero, two, one. And that's one of the rare occurrences where Anna Bright has had a chance to really get involved and be on the offense since game number one. how quickly points can go two, zero, two. compared to those that are 100 contacts yes. deep. Point. So what's important to keep in mind if you're Andrea Coop going cross court with Callie Jo Smith in terms Three, zero, of location two. or strategy? Yeah. Shallow is the key on those dinks. Don't let her be able to reach in and take it out of the air. Then you should be in good shape because she's got that beautiful two-handed backhand roll. Point. Callie Joe jumping in front. That is such a good move because you know your partner's going back on the overhead and they are likely to get the next ball because the opponent knows that. So you come in there and poach such smart pickleball from Smith right there. Steady from that baseline. Giving a little extra lift on that. Side out. So too quick for Kovalova and Smith. Already up 4-0. one Callie is hunting, one that carries just a little deeper that she can either get after it with one-handed backhand or even get a two-handed swing. She likes to do that one-handed punch. That one just got a little too low for that shot selection. And really quick back the other way here. Back-to-back -back holds. If you're Smith and Kovalova, where are you looking to return the ball? Every ball to Coop. have been flying between these two teams. Point. Love that 
two-hand backhand from Andrea Coop and her ability to pull that as, sh as sharp of an angle as she's finding. One, four, two. Yeah, and that requires torque of the body. We heard she may have been nursing and getting work on a rib injury, so that makes that even harder. Point. And again, you go to Anna Bright. Now that one cl clipped off the tape, so uh, not blaming a strategy choice on that part of it, but uh, like there was a little discussion about that. Two, four, two. If you're just joining us, welcome to the women's final on Championship Sunday for the Carvana PPA Tour. A good spot to join us as there could be a shot for this to go the distance in five games played. The OGO Newport Beach double shootout. These four fighting for gold, each of them have earned it in their own right, specifically these two. Looking for 42. their eighth together. Oh and that oh lands sorry. everyone given the A-OK -okay sign. Yep, flat hand that uh, carries over from tennis, meaning, yep, that's good, unfortunately. If you're enjoying all the coverage here on Tennis Channel, stick around with us as the men's final will be coming up after this. Yeah, you've got to be able, if you just stand still, you're going to get beat. And uh, go. Coop just got her right leg slid out of the way, so she got a full cut at that. Really well done. Three, four, one. And again, they're digging out of a big hole to start game number four. Oftentimes is kind of half balling that ball, so short hopping it. A lot of touch required on that. Yeah, and another way to take time away because you don't let the ball go up to its apex and come back down. You're taking that quickly. Callan Dawson on the men's side does that really well. But in terms of pace, there's more at that rather than it sitting at its apex off the bounce. Tougher to control. That as well as a little bit of extra spin. There's just the big swing from Callie Smith. So a little holding pattern as far as points being scored. Just a couple Four, here and one. there. since we've said her name, she's getting almost snuck into the corner, trying to force a little bit of something through the middle as Andrea Coop has been isolated. Yeah, and she can do that easier when she's on the left, which she was on that rally. We'll see if they keep her there. That does give her a chance with the forehand, a really cheap middle. Seesawing back and forth. Right through the middle, Miscommunic miscommunications coming on the side of Bright and Coop. And Kovalova's lobs have been absolute perfection here today. Six really two. well done. Picking her spots perfectly and the location of those lobs. Not giving away overheads ever.
seven three. A reminder, seven, Smith three, and Kovalova up two to one in terms of total games won in this match. If they pick up game number four, they pick up the championships here in Newport Beach. Four points separate Smith, Kovalova, Coop, and Bright here for the OGO Newport Beach double shootout presented by Vizzy. This is the women's championship match. Up two to one are Kovalova and Smith. Lifting and looking for the lob. Again, can't get out of what you do well, even though you are pressing at this point, is Anna Bright. Point. Coop and Bright, a couple loose errors, and not the time for it. seen swings of points five six in the making nothing short of possible here right there, known for that backhand in the middle, but actually slid her body, as you mentioned, to the middle of the court and had that forehand ready. I'm gonna tell you right now, they need a new ball. The number of balls I've seen lo lost under those exact stands, <laughs> that place is a graveyard. Three, nine, two. Coop and Bright trailing by six. to face on that left side. She has been solid in the deep exchange on the cross court, finding offense. Great lateral motion as well. <laughs> Trying to find her footing, using her hand to stay balanced is Lucy Kovalova. Yeah, players will use their paddle to push off. The tennis players are certainly used to that from using their rackets to do that. Just couldn't quite get there off that net cord. So a side out again for Coop and Bright, a much needed hold. Three, nine, one. time on the screen just over two hours and about 16 minutes now Three, nine, two. the frustration of Anna Bright. She finally got a ball on the way to the kitchen to take a good swing at it, but uh, wasn't able to make that one. Way to cover your partner. Extra emphasis for Lucy through the middle. Smith and Kovalova, championship point. point game In just four games played, Smith and 
Kovalova, our victors in Newport Beach. We talk about pickleball being chestnut checkers. They lost the first game. Anna Bright saw a lot of balls. They obviously got together and said, we are going to isolate her. Andrea Coop's going to have to beat us. They stayed true to that. They were patient with that decision. They themselves had to save two game points against in game number three. And that's two happy human beings right there. Without a doubt, as they have now officially earned their eighth women's doubles title together here at the OGO Newport Beach doubles shootout. Congratulations to Callie Jo Smith and Lucy Kovalova. Welcome back, everyone. What an absolute battle we just saw take place here on Center Guard. I get to be here with the winners, Callie Smith, Lucy Kovalova. Guys, absolute battle that went four games, all of two and a half hours. You came in with a very specific strategy. What did you need to do so well here on court? Well, I think that's our thing to go over two hours in the finals. So <laughs> you guys are welcome. But no, we had a strategy and it's all about the execution, right? We lost the first game very close and then we just, we regrouped. We had great coaching. So thank our coaches, Matt and Kyle. And, and it, again, it's all about the execution and crowd was amazing. So thank you for cheering us on. You guys are awesome. And they are great opponents, Indra and Anna, you know, the, the battle for every shot. and. You saw amazing, amazing rallies, so they're awesome. Callie, you're known as one of the hardest workers on tour. You put in so many hours, both on and off the court. What have you been working on to take you to the top of the podium here today? Well, I've been working on my backhand roll, which clearly didn't work out today. But my forehand's still awesome, so I can always resort to that. <laughs> but next week, don't you all worry, it will be great. So, uh, but it's not, just, it's not just working hard, it's having great chemistry on the court and a great partner who digs out my crap shots sometimes. We all have them, and it's okay. So, but just, it's about, it's about getting to the next point and competing your best, and I thought uh, everybody on this court today, including Anna and Andrea, competed their hearts out today. So, I'm, so I think they need a round of applause as well. And thank you guys for cheering for us too. Thank you guys, my sponsors, my family, especially my husband, who is also my coach, Kyle. I owe everything to him for my kids back at home and for allowing me to play here. Pickleball is the best sport in the whole world and I love it. Well, Lucy, this win locks up your 21st gold medal on the PPA Tour. More gold medals than any woman in history. How do you feel about that record? Um, let me think about this, how I feel about it. But no, it's awesome. You know, we, I've competed. Well, it's not really fair because I've competed much longer than everybody else. So, you know, I had a couple, couple medals from way back there, but it's, no, it's just awesome. You know, you enjoy every tournament. You, you come to every tournament and you want to win. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but we always try our best. And I'm so lucky to have Callie by my side and you guys here, so. Well, what a show you both put on here today. It's time for trophy presentation. Mark Bunts from OGO on court now to present. Mark. Well, wow. You know, on behalf of Team OGO, I'm here to give some thanks. Thanks to you guys for showing us just how well this sport can be played. Wow, it was inspiring. And thank you for reminding us why the rest of us absolutely love this sport. We're thankful to the PPA Tour uh, for your incredible partnership. Uh, this week we launched our first, our debut pickleball bag collection. If you're familiar with OGO, you're gonna love the pickleball gear. If you're new to OGO, you're gonna love the pickleball gear. <laughs> And we want to thank all of you fans for coming out and supporting what an incredible couple of days we have had here. And it's our pleasure to now be part of Pickleball Nation. We are players, we are fans down at OGO, and we can't wait to serve you guys in the years to come. Thank you so much. Congratulations, ladies. Great job. Who wants it? say what you wanted so
Callie Jo Smith on the Newport Beach title on the Carvana PPA Tour. We'll be back with more from Tennis Channel after this. And welcome to Tennis Channel. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside senior pro Dave Fleming. And it has been a massive weekend of pickleball in Orange County. What has impressed you the most throughout this weekend? I mean, that win was huge for Lucy and Callie Joe. To battle over two hours. I think pickleball fans were worried we are only going to have two gold medal matches today. And, oh, they're still getting their money's worth. Those two ladies struck first, had a great strategy. They targeted Andrea Coop. They stayed true to it. And it took quite a battle, but they got it done. And congratulations to those two. Well, without a doubt, we love seeing Lucy and Callie partnered along one side of a, a one another.